good evening, Avon fans. Welcome in here on AudioSportsOnline.com for Avon Freshman Football. Rob Kendall is my name. Thanks for joining us tonight as your Avon Orioles travel uh, to Brownsburg to take on the Bulldogs in freshman football action. This will be our third and final game of the uh, series as, of course, we brought you uh, varsity action on Friday, JV action on Saturday, and freshman action tonight. Both teams out on the field here at Brownsburg High School. Uh, Bulldogs in the home purple, white letters and numbers. The Orioles in the road, whites, black letters and numbers, black helmets. And uh, it is raining. It has rained throughout most of the afternoon here today and uh, continues to uh, come down, though not as hard as it did earlier this afternoon here at uh, Bill Estes uh, Bill Estes Stadium. BillAustisFord.com field, I should say. Again, Rob Kendall is my name. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. And uh, we look forward to bringing you tonight's action here on AudioSportsOnline.com. Let's take a moment to thank our Avon sponsors who have made uh, this broadcast possible. And we start with Reynolds Body Shop, proud sponsor of Avon Football Broadcasts. They're conveniently located at 4325 West Washington Street in Indianapolis, just four stoplights east of 465. Their phone number is... 243-2372, and they're open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reynolds has been family-owned and operated for 30 years, specializing in collision repair. Reynolds Body Shop is also an insurance work specialist. Learn more about them on the web at ReynoldsBodyShop.com. And McNamara Flores is Indy's hometown florist since 1954 with eight convenient locations, including the new Avon store on Rockville Road. McNamara Flores is famous for our floral designs for all occasions that help our clients express their emotions through flowers. Visit McNamara Flores for our outstanding personal service and to select from the renowned home decor merchandise, including stunning Christmas classics. McNamara Flores is located at 9655 East Highway 36 in Avon and can be reached at 579 7,900. And our final sponsor of tonight's game this evening is Red Cobra Wrestling. Avon has a rich wrestling tradition. Red Cobra Wrestling is proud to now be a part of that. Opening last November, Red Cobra Wrestling offers training sessions run by nationally known high school coach Chad Red. Red Cobra Wrestling is located at 9233 East Highway 36 in Avon, across the street from Walmart and behind sidelines in the Red Brick Building. Red Cobra Wrestling uh, offers sessions for all ages, including third grade and under and fourth grade and up. Learn more about prices, class schedules, and information at redcobrawrestlingacademy.com. So again, we welcome everybody in here. Got about a uh, minute 30 up on our clocks. So we'll take a little bit of a break, uh, let you watch the uh, wrap-up of our warm-ups here, and then we will have uh, Avon, varsity, uh, Avon freshman football, I should say, coming to you tonight on audiosportsonline.com. All right, so uh, both teams have, uh, are in their respective end zones. Officials out uh, at the middle of the uh, field there, as you can see, and uh, hopefully we're going to have some football for you. If you are new to the freshman uh, football experience, a uh, little bit different than uh, than high school, uh, and we'll kind of mainly the time differential, which we'll tell you about as soon as we get uh, going here again, do you want to thank uh, Kelly Wagner, the entire athletic staff at Brownsburg High School for uh, allowing us to come out here. A beautiful uh, facility at Brownsburg High School that they do have here. Uh, new field turf, new press box last year. And uh, we're uh, very pleased uh, to be able to come out here and broadcast. We certainly uh, thank them. Also want to thank uh, Mark Bless, the entire Avon football staff, as well as Brad Holsinger and the Avon athletic staff. Uh, for helping us uh, put these broadcasts together each year. And uh, it's great that we're able to bring you Avon uh, football at all levels, freshman, JV, and, of course, varsity. They do only play nine minutes for each quarter, unlike the 12 at the varsity level, so only nine on the freshman level. And the Bulldogs 
are huddled up there. As you can see, Avon continues to sit in their end zone. Now, we are uh, in the, as we said, indoors in the press box. The camera's out the window, but uh, as you're looking to the north end zone, uh, you will see that we will have a little bit of cutoff there. You will uh, have a hard time seeing that. There's the side of the window that we're in, so uh, we do apologize for that in advance and a little bit of intrusion uh, turning uh, to the south. So you will see a little bit of cutoff as we get closer to our end zones, but that's why we're here to bring you the play-by-play -play. Uh, to let you know what's happening. The Bulldogs are going to receive the kick uh, to begin tonight's ball game, and Avon will kick off from the 40. You see the Orioles getting huddled up there. This is our first freshman broadcast of the year. We had our first JV broadcast on Saturday. An exciting uh, conclusion to that one. Avon scoring uh, the final 14 points of the ball game inside of four minutes to win that one over Brownsburg by one point. And it'll be number 22, Connor uh, Albert, it looks like, will be kicking off for the Orioles. Six oh one local time. We're set to go, and Albert puts the foot into it. That's a good kick. It'll be to, uh, fumbled back near the uh, five yard line, picked up by the Bulldog return man, and he is across the twenty five near the twenty eight. And they're finally going to spot him down. Uh, I'm sorry, at the twenty five yard line. He's past the twenty three to the twenty five, and we do have a whistle flag going to be called against the Bulldogs. So that will move them back, and we will be ready to go here momentarily. Hey, we do want to thank Brian Scott back in the XRB uh, radio uh, studios, Brian saying hello to us, of course, XRB Radio, the fine local radio station in Brownsburg. So we certainly appreciate Brian. Brian, the play-by-play -play voice of the uh, Avon Orioles for most of these ball games, and Brian does an outstanding job. And we appreciate Brian tuning us in from Kokomo tonight. Quarterback for the Bulldogs is number 14, Kyle Strakus. And there's a handoff on first down. Again, as we said, we do apologize if you're looking towards the uh, north, what would be the northwest corner of the end zone. We are blocked out uh, by the window. So uh, we will do our best to tell you exactly what is going on in the northwest corner of the end zone should we get there. And as you can see, we're currently blocked out from the action there. That is the one uh, issue we do have at Brownsburg High School, a multi-level uh, press box. Very nice. but. Uh, we do have some trouble with that corner of the end zone, so we do apologize for that. Lone man in the backfield is Joey Sturgill, and Sturgill will stand back there with Strakos working out of the shotgun, two receiver set, double wing formation. There's the pitch, and up across the 10, very close to the, very close to the, let's see, I guess they're going to say the 15, as that time it was number 24, Joey Sturgill with the carry. And they're going to actually put him down at the, where are they going to put him at? 12-yard line? Yeah, 12-yard line. So we're going to bring up a third and nine from the 12. And working out of the shotgun, back to pass, steps up, throws, and it is incomplete, nearly intercepted. And the punt team will come on for the Bulldogs, who will kick it away. Bulldogs, Orioles, freshman football action. 7.15 left to go in the first quarter. No score. And back to receive the kick for Avon is number 19, Drake Jensen. And it's a short kick. 
It'll take a Bulldog bounce across the 30, and Brownsburg will head on on defense. Avon on offense. Uh, 7.09 to play in the first rain-soaked quarter here from Brownsburg High School. Rob Kendall is my name. Thanks for joining us tonight here on audiosportsonline.com, your home for Avon football. Those of you uh, getting ready to watch the Colts tonight, that's exciting. And uh, balls at the 32 as the Orioles huddle up again in the home white jerseys. <laughs> Brian, I do so appreciate your commentary and insights as we are set to begin this evening. Number 15 is the quarterback, Cameron Misner. And Misner hands it off to number 24, Jabon Carter. And again, the nice thing about doing freshman football, all players are freshmen, so we don't have to... Uh, determine the uh, grade of the uh, player in question. So he certainly uh, makes the job a little easier on the announcer. 6, 25 and counting. Missner down under center. Fumbled the ball, fell on it, and we'll pick it up. That's back to the original line of scrimmage, the 32. And as if we haven't had enough Avon football here this evening, during halftime of this show, you won't hear it on uh, on this broadcast, but we'll be uh, recording the Mark Bless show via telephone with the head coach of the Avon Orioles, Mark Bless. And uh, so we look definitely look forward to that uh, coming up. You can It'll be posted tonight. You'll be able to hear it. Ball to 32 brings up third down and 10 yards to go for the Avon Orioles. 540, eye formation in the backfield. Going to be hard to throw the ball tonight. No doubt about that. Mr. Back to pass. He is going to try to throw it. Rolling on the run. Heaves it up, and it's incomplete. And it'll bring up fourth down. You would assume the Bulldogs will go for it. From, uh, or I'm sorry, the Orioles, rather, will go for it against the Bulldogs. Well, we did have an exciting JV game on uh, Saturday. 5.30 to play. Out of the shotgun. Split back formation. Two receiver set, one to each side. There's a snap, back pass, steps up. Giving it the old heave-ho deep. And it's incomplete. Pass was intended for number 22, Connor Albert. So turnover, uh, but there's a flag on the play. I thought we had a turnover on downs there, but there is a flag. And Avon, based on their uh, enthusiasm, uh, one would assume the flag is against the Bulldogs. And it is against the Bulldogs. And the officials will mark it off. All the way down, five-yard penalty. That did not see the signal. It is not a first down, though, so that must have been an encroachment, must have been the call. So now a more manageable fourth and four for Avon. Let's see what the Orioles come up with. Missner steps, throws, got a man caught inside the 10 and all the way down to about the six-yard line. That was 22, the aforementioned Connor Albert with the catch. And a nice job by Connor there. Ball uh, now inside, first and goal, uh, inside the 10 at the 6. And Avon knocking on the door. And on first down, number 42, Camden Merle with the run. Doesn't go much of anywhere. And with 4.40 to play, first quarter, the Bulldogs and Orioles are still knotted at zero. And a nice tackle in the open field. 
as that was Luke Shayotovich with the run, number 12. Nice bulldog tackle in the open field, and I think we're going to get a hold on Avon. That's going to move them back. Boy, that was just some good defense there by the Bulldogs. Avon uh, doing some damage to themselves there with the aforementioned holding penalty. Looking at the Twitter feed, Plainfield canceling their JV and freshman games tonight. Not sure if that uh, has to do with the fact that the, one of those, obviously not at Plainfield. It's Ron Colley. Snap back pass. Rolling. Misner rolling. Throwing to the end zone. Overshot the intended receiver. It was number 22, Albert. And that will bring up a third and 12 now. Third and goal from the 12. And we'll see what the Orioles could come up with here against the Bulldogs. High formation in the backfield. One receiver to each side. Snap. Play action. Misner flushed out. Throws it up. Incomplete. Had a man open on the far side of the field. And that was number 89, Adrian Lozano. And Lozano could not make the catch. It will bring up fourth down now. As we will see what the Orioles can come up with here. Ball actually resting closer back to the 13. Probably outside of field goal range. Although there are some freshman kickers who could... That would amount to what? That'd be about a 30-yard field goal. There's probably a few freshmen out there who can kick the ball 30 yards. But the Orioles will go for it on fourth down. Mr. Rolling, rolling, throwing up. And it is over the head of number three, Earl Reynolds. Incomplete. Turnover on downs. Orioles threaten. They do not score. And we want to thank our sponsors for today's game. They include Red Cobra Wrestling, McNamara Florist, and Reynolds Body Shop. So special thanks to them for making our broadcast possible. Out of the shotgun. Bulldogs back with the ball now. Back to pass, steps up, throws that ball. Tipped, incomplete as it was intended for number 15, Evan Shipman. Down under center, now out of the shotgun. On a second and a long snap, play, uh, no, they do give it away. And that was number 24 for the Bulldogs, Joey Sturgill again. And now it'll bring up a third down and long for Brownsburg. 325 left to play in the first quarter. No score. I would say from a rain-soaked Brownsburg High School field, but they got that field turf now, so does it really get rain-soaked per se. Third down for the Bulldogs. Out of the shotgun. There's the snap. There's the pitch. Sturgill takes it to the near side of the field. Room to run across the 25. And he is, I'm sorry, across the 20 to about the 22. He's probably a yard shy of the first down. And the Bulldogs will send in the punt team. Bulldogs send in the punt team, and it's number 87, Lay Noodle. And there's a punt caught on the run by Avon's number 19, Drake Jensen. 
and a nice open field tackle by the Bulldogs wrap him up at the 44-yard line of Brownsburg. So Avon continues to stay in Bulldog territory, and it'll bring up a first down and 10 from there. So good defense by the Orioles that time, getting the Bulldogs back off the field. And we are very pleased to have Brian Scott tuning in, providing a commentary for tonight's game. I formation in the backfield. Pitch to the far side of the field. Room to run. Breaks it to the 40, to the 30. And that's where he's taken out of bounds, maybe just outside of the 30. Nice run on the play that time by number 24, Jabon Carter. They'll actually put it down at the 32. That was good enough for a first down for Avon. 158. Clock stopped. First quarter. Orioles take a minute to get into full position there. Play clock winding down. Snap. Give. That's Carter. Flag comes in late. Carter took a huge hit by a host of Bulldogs there. The flag did come in late, and we'll see what the whistle is. Keep in mind, there are only three uh, officials out here during a freshman football game, and a whistle holding against the Orioles, so that'll be accepted by the Bulldogs, and it'll move Avon back towards midfield, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, and it'll actually put them right at the 46-yard line. 46-yard lines where the ball will go. And Rob Kendall here with you tonight from Brownsburg High School. It's our uh, freshman football game. The trifecta of coverage this past few days for you. We had the varsity game on Friday, the JV game on Saturday, and the freshman game here on Monday between these, uh, these two rivals. Throw is deep, incomplete on the far side of the field. Good effort that time past the outstretched arms of number 12. Uh, Luke Sheodovich. And so it'll bring up a second and 24. I formation. One receiver to each side of the field. And the ball's loose. It's on the ground. Picked up by the Bulldogs. And they may take it all the way. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Brownsburg by number 33. Brayton Lee picks it up. And scampers in for the score. Now the, rain, uh, the rainy conditions working in the favor of the Bulldogs that time as it is uh, a turnover touchdown by Brayton Lee. And Brownsburg finds itself up six to nothing and on to attempt the extra point is number 85 and that is Devin Steinman. Snap spot, kick is up, kick is good. Right through the middle of the uprights, and the Bulldogs lead it 7 to nothing. Again, I want to thank our Avon football sponsors this year, Red Cobra Wrestling, McNamara Flores, and last but certainly not least, Reynolds Body Shop.
So Bulldogs will kick it off. Now leading it by a score of 7-0. to zero. And again, it's number 85, Devin Steinman to kick it off. And it's a short end over and kick. It'll hit at the 25, taken there to the 30. Back to the middle of the field, room to run up to the 40-yard line. Nice return there by Nicholas Gray. So they'll spot it at the 41, and Avon will take over now. First and 10, 122, and counting here in the first quarter. Avon has dominated the time of possession, but they are losing at the place that counts, which is the scoreboard. Run a first down there by Jabon Carter for a short gain. As we're inside of one minute left to go in the first. Second and nine. Rain continues to fall at Brownsburg. And a busted play that was slow to develop and then didn't go anywhere. That was Rashawn Pitts with the run number seven for Avon. And that will likely be the final play of the First quarter of action. It will be. As the teams will switch sides. We'll head to the second. With Avon trailing. And we remind you that Avon has a rich wrestling tradition. Red Cobra Wrestling is proud to now be a part of that. Opening last November, Red Cobra Wrestling offers training sessions run by nationally known Coach Chad Red, Red Cobra Wrestling is located at 9233 East Highway 36 in Avon, across the street from Walmart and behind sidelines in the Red Brick Building. Red Cobra Wrestling offers sessions for all ages, including third grade and under and fourth grade and up. Learn more about prices, class schedules, and information at redcobrawrestlingacademy.com. Well, they won't have to go far. When uh, play resumes again. Reynolds Body Shop is a proud sponsor of Avon Football Broadcast. They're conveniently located at 4325 West Washington Street, in Indianapolis. Just four stoplights east, just four stoplights east of 465. Their phone number is 317-243-2372, and they're open Monday through Friday from 7:30 to 5. Reynolds has been family-owned and operated for 30 years, specializing in collision repair. Reynolds Body Shop is also an insurance work specialist. Learn more about them on the web at reynoldsbodyshop.com. All right, quarter break is over. We are back to action. Switch sides. Avon now moving from left to right on your computer screen. Rob Kendall here with you. The Orioles trail the Bulldogs by a score of 7 to nothing. Snap, back pass, steps up, hit, and dropped. And it'll be a sack for the Bulldogs. Good pressure that time by Brownsburg on our first play of the second quarter. Brownsburg really getting in there that time, making the big hit. And with eight minutes and 40 seconds to play as the clock continues to run, the uh, Avon punt team will come on. And it's number 22, Connor Albert, back there to kick it away. It's number 22 to number 22, Jack Parker is the return man for the Bulldogs, and that's a short kick that'll hit at the 50 and take a bounce. So 22 was about to kick it to 22, but 22 for the Bulldogs didn't get to receive the ball.
Bulldogs, Orioles. Seven nothing Brownsburg ball resting at midfield. Snap, back to pass. Steps up, heave it a deep. And we're going to get a flag on pass interference on Avon. That pass was intended for number 19, Nathan Walton. Second down now, clock stops, 7.46 to go as the ball is moved up to the 35-yard line. Pitch, far side of the field, room to run, cuts it back. He's to the 25, inside the 20, flag on the play, as that was Sturgill with the run. So that flag will go on the Bulldogs. It'll move them back. That was a great run, but uh, unfortunately, well, the good news is it was later on in the play, so even though they moved them back 10 yards, the Bulldogs just lost uh, really about a half a yard on the play. So it'll bring up second, and, and now we're going to have an officials conference with 7.27 left to play in the first half. They're talking about the spotting of the football. It looks really, really dark over to the east. I have not looked at a weather map. Looks pretty nice here in Brownsburg, but that's uh, where all of our friends are beginning to gather for tonight's big uh, Colts game on Monday Night Football. It could uh, be getting some rain over there. Not that it matters indoors. The roof, I assume, is up. But uh, for the tailgaters, be a rather, uh, rather ominous tailgating evening. I think the discussion was, what down is it? It is first down. The Bulldogs coaching staff kindly helping out the uh, referees. First and ten and a half for the Bulldogs. Out of the shotgun. Back to pass, step, throw, go. Tipped up, incomplete. Boy, nice job there that time as Jensen got a hand in there and was able to knock it away. Second down. Pitch. Near side of the field. Room to run. And a nice shoestring tackle there on number 24, Joey Sturgill. And Avon now has the Bulldogs facing a third and long, gain of about uh, four yards on the play, facing a third and uh, six or seven. 6.57 left to play, first half. Seven nothing Brownsburg. Seems like the lighter it gets here, the darker it looks in the east. So we'll see how that plays out. Out of the shotgun. Snap, steps up. Throwing over the head of the intended receiver. Incomplete. Pass was intended for number 22, Jack Parker. So we now have a fourth down coming up for the Bulldogs. Check that. I beg your pardon. A third down coming up for the Bulldogs. 
Third and eight with 6.36 left to play in the quarter. Snap, steps up, throws, and it is incomplete. No flag. Incidental contact. Six thirty to play. First half, seven nothing, and it'll bring up fourth down. It looks like the Bulldogs are going to punt. And we do appreciate our good friend Brian Scott with all of his uh, insights. Very clever this evening, Brian, in rare form. And that's why we're glad that he's around. Snap, pitch, cuts it back, and a first down for Avon. Short gain, gain of about four yards. Brings up second and six. Six minutes, four seconds to play here in the first half. Avon moving from left to right on your computer screen. I formation, snap, give, and the Bulldogs wrap him up. That was number seven. Rashawn Pitts with the run. Host of Bulldogs in on the tackle. And it'll bring up third down from the 37-yard line. Brown, uh, Avon, rather, needs to get to the 43. Short on offense from both sides tonight with the weather playing havoc. The only score in the game came off the defense. Bulldogs picked up a fumble and ran it back for the score. Snap, step, throw, got a man caught, and a nice job coming over the middle that time. Catch is made for the first down. Flag comes in after the end of the play, and that's probably going to be in the area of a foul against the Bulldogs. Personal foul would be my guess, but we will see. And I think I'm going to be proven correct. Helmet to helmet contact. You don't see that called a lot in high school. But they did there. That is a personal foul. And they'll move the ball forward to the 38-yard line. Five minutes, three seconds to play. First half. Out of the shotgun. Avon now moving. Snap. Give near side of the field and take it down between the hashes is number seven, Rashawn Pitts. Four forty and counting, first half from Bill Estes four dot com field here in Brownsburg. Rob Kendall with you. Thanks for joining us tonight right here on AudioSportsOnline.com, your home for Avon Orioles football. Down under center. And the Bulldogs jump. Five yards credited to the Orioles now. And it'll bring up second and five now for the Bulldogs, or for the Orioles, I should say. Snap, pitch, again to Pitts, 
And a flag comes in late as he crosses the 30-yard line. We'll see what that is. That is, as they say in the, in the business, in the area of a hold. And the Orioles are moving back. So they'll move them on back all the way to the 45-yard line. So that's a costly penalty for Avon of about 15 yards from where they ended up. Down under center, whistle. And another penalty against the Orioles, so a bevy of mistakes by Avon here as they were moving the ball, and now they're all the way back to midfield. 3.25 left to play. Back to pass, steps up, throwing, going to the far side of the, or near side of the field. Got a man caught inside the 30. Great catch by Sheodovic. Sheodovic, easy enough for me to say. And uh, very close to a first down. So now it'll bring up a big third down for a uh, for oh they're gonna go ahead and give him a first down okay so first down for the Orioles so first down and ten as they're actually gonna spot him inside the thirty that was a pretty generous spot by the referees. Avon will certainly take it. Pitts with the ball. Cuts it back. Flag comes in late as he barrels ahead down to the 25. And when that flag comes in from the backside, that is usually in the area of a hold. Holding is the call. Snap. Rolling, and he's going to be sacked all the way back at midfield. Nice job there by Brownsburg's number 33, who's really the hero of this game so far, Brayton Lee. He picked up that football and uh, fumbled football and ran it in for the touchdown. And now with a big sack. So Avon has been sort of playing uh, back and forth game with themselves on this drive. Right back where they were about three plays ago at midfield. And now we will see if Avon can once again come up with a big play. Minute 50 to play, first half. Bulldogs lead the Orioles by a score of 7 to nothing. Avon needs to get all the way down to the 18-yard line. Or we will have a fourth down and a likely punt situation. Out of the shotgun. Snap, back to pass, flushed out. And he will be hit and dropped all the way back at the 40. And so the 
Bulldogs. Will hold the Orioles, and Avon facing a... And now Brown Circle spend the timeout with a minute seven to play. Avon, I'm going to try to do the math here. Fourth and 32 will send the punt team in. And let's take a moment here to thank uh, McNamara Flores is in his hometown Flores since 1954 with eight convenient locations, including the new Avon store on Rockville Road. McNamara Flores is famous for our floral designs for all occasions to help our clients express their emotions through flowers. Visit McNamara Flores for outstanding personal service and to select from the renowned home decor merchandise, including stunning Christmas classics. McNamara Flores is located at 9655 East Highway 36 in Avon and can be reached at 579 7900. Minute seven to play. Bulldogs call timeout. Rob Kendall here with you tonight on AudioSportsOnline.com. And they're going to go for it. Avon is facing a third. Oh, it's third down. I'm sorry. I was a little bit uh, ahead of myself there. It's only third down and 41. They had not updated the uh, board yet. So, And another penalty. And this one's also going to go on Avon. Uh, false start. Five yards back. So it'll now be a fourth or third down and 46. Third and 46. Third and 46. And now another whistle. And a issue with the clock. The Brownsburg fans wanting more time. And a timeout called. Do not see by who. That is not something you see very often. Third and 46 at any level of football. So Avon facing the third and 46. Out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Oh, and it's hit and it's knocked free. Loose ball picked up, and the Bulldogs will take it in for the score. Nathan Walton literally just knocked the ball out of the quarterback's hands, picked it up, scampered in for the score, and that will make it 13 to nothing. The Avon player helped off. That is the quarterback, number 15, Missner.
Now, what was the call? They're going to call that an incomplete pass. Okay. So after all that, they finally call that an incomplete pass. I guess they were saying the arm was going forward. Of course, there are no replays at any level of high school, much less freshmen. So the Bulldogs do not get credit for the uh, six points. And the punt will stop at the 37. So 7 to nothing our score. Game reset for you. 51.4 seconds left to play in the first half. 51.4 seconds to play. 7 nothing Brownsburg. Brownsburg has the ball. Snap. Back to pass. Little screen play. Caught in the flat. Room to run. That should be enough for a first down. It is very close to midfield. And that was number 24. Sturgill with the catch. As he is, uh, he does have the first down timeout, Brownsburg. So, first down and 10 for the Bulldogs. Ball in the 49, 44.2 seconds left to play in the first half. Snap, back pass, steps up, throwing, going down the sidelines. Got a man caught, and he is off to the races. 10-5, touchdown. And that was number 19, Nathan Walton, who Walton, oddly enough, was the guy who scored the touchdown that they just called back off the fumble. So, a little bit of poetic justice there for Walton. And he will walk it in for the score. Snap spot. Kick is up. The kick is good. And that was number 84. Five, Devin Steinman with the kick. So Avon now will receive the kick, and the way it's gone so far, we will we'll see what happens. Been an eventful uh, first half of action. The rain now looks like it's pretty much stopped now. And the players are asking for a ball. There's apparently no ball, as I peer out my window here I can see that is correct now there's a ball there's the kick short taken at the 30 to the 35 to the 40 and a nice run by the Avon up man that was, let's get a number here, number 19, Drake Jensen. And Jensen with the run, it'll put it at the 31, and we'll see if Avon elects to run another play.
So Avon, let's see what they elect to do. It's been a rough half offensively for them. We'll see if they can get it in gear. Snap. Give. Room to run. And that is number seven, uh, Pitts, up a right to midfield. And it looks like Avon's going to be content just to let this thing go into the locker room as they are slow to huddle. So we will uh, step aside, take a little break. Nope, looks like we may get one more play. Avon will hustle up to the line of scrimmage now after taking their time in the huddle. And they're going to have to hurry. Two, one. They do get the snap off. There's the give. And Pitts breaks it free to the far side of the field. Does have the first down inside the 45. But that will do it for the first half. We'll take a break. Be back. Second half comes your way next. You're listening to Avon Varsity, uh, Avon Freshman Football, I should say, on Audio Sports Online. Orioles trail the Bulldogs 14 to nothing.
All right. Well, we welcome everybody back here on AudioSportsOnline.com. Rob Kendall here with you. It's a freshman football game as your Avon Orioles trail the Bulldogs of Brownsburg by a score of 14-0. to Had a chance during halftime there to record our uh, weekly uh, coaches show with Mark Bless, head coach of the Avon Orioles. And uh, so we'll have that up on the website tonight as well. Don't forget, if you are just tuning in here, uh, We'll have a podcast of this game up, the video webcast. You can go back and uh, watch it anytime you want. So definitely uh, look forward to that as well. So uh, a lot of Avon football and a lot of uh, excitement left to go in this one. Still 18 minutes to play. Um, and so we'll look forward to bringing you the call of that uh, action as we continue to uh, roll on. I believe Avon will have the ball as we begin the second half. A uh, couple big plays in this one. A big uh, touchdown pass to end the, uh, towards the end of the first half. And a uh, big uh, fumble recovery scooped up by the Bulldogs for a touchdown. Have accounted for the two points. The two scores, I should say. So Avon will receive the kick. It'll be number 85 for the Bulldogs, teeing it up. Devin Steinman. Steinman two for two on extra points. So he's done a very nice job so far. There's the line drive kick. Take it. It'll roll past the Avon uh, return man. Now corralled to the 15, to the 20, and up across the 20, near the 25. Boy, that ball and a flag is on the field. That was number one, Nicholas Gray with the return. So now Avon will have it. Yes, yeah, so the penalty is on the Orioles. Ball all the way back to the 12-yard line, and that is where uh, Avon will start this uh, start this drive. In a rough first half for the Orioles, really struggled to move the football. Had a couple of nice plays. Uh, some penalties did hurt them though, and then of course the uh, the big play, uh, at least offensively, was the. Uh, fumble that was returned for the touchdown. So we'll see what Avon has to offer here as we begin the second half of action. And it's a give on first down, leans ahead for a gain of about, uh, eh, we'll say about two yards there on first down, short gain up near the 14-yard line. And Avon now will face a second and long. Orioles break the huddle, come to the line of scrimmage. Avon in the uh, road whites, black letters and numbers, black helmets. Snap, give, and room to run across the 15. And it's going to be a gain of about four yards there. That was number five, Robbie Heaton with the run. And so Heaton. Out of the shotgun. Snap. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws. Got a man caught. First down. Nice pitch and catch there as the quarterback, 15 Missner, connects with 22 Connor Albert. So first down for the Orioles. That'll move the chains. Clock will stop as they do that. 7-13 left to play in the quarter. Yeah, that's a nice start for the Orioles. Split receivers set, and a split backfield. 
Snap, back to pass, steps up, throwing deep, and it is over the head. Had a man wide open, as that was Albert, and he, unfortunately the ball just shot past him. So Avon now will face a second and long. Clock stops. Six minutes, 49 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Snap, pitch to the far side of the field, room to run to the 30, to the 35, to the 40. Bades a tackler and a nice run as that was number five Heaton for a first down and then some, so they'll move the chains. And Avon will have another first down. Ball at the 44. Clock has stopped with 6.42 to play. Snap. Pitch to the far side. Cuts it back. Center of the field. Has room to run. He's got open lanes, and he's going to run forever. There goes Heaton. 10-5. Touchdown, Avon. And the Orioles on a big scamper of 56 yards have cut the lead eight. So 14 to six now the score. And now on to attempt the extra point is Albert. We'll see what he can do. Snap, spot, kick is up, and the kick is good. So that will make it a 14-7 ball game. And we want to thank our sponsors tonight, including McNamara Flores, Reynolds Body Shop, and Red Cobra Wrestling. So Avon will kick it off now. And that's a good start to the second half. Albert puts the foot into it. Ball's taken at the 15, to the 20, 25, and up near the 35. Nice return that time. And we do have an injured player. It is the return man. Number 10, Derek Hall for the Bulldogs. And he'll walk it off. So Brownsburg will come to the line of scrimmage. 6.24 to play. In the third quarter, ball to 35.
Snap, steps up, throws. Oh, caught and dropped. That would have been a great catch by number 19, Walton. But it fell incomplete. So second down. Snap, give room to run, and he is going to take it. 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. 24, Joey Sturgill with the run. Touchdown, Brownsburg. So now the Bulldogs will attempt the extra point. And that kick is no good. So it is now 20 to 7 with 556 left to play in the third quarter. So the Bulldogs, number 85, Devin Steinman to kick it off. And here we go. Squib kick. It'll be taken at the 20-yard line to the 25. Wraps it around to the 30s. And that is where... The Orioles will start just past the 30 to the 24. Or to the, I'm sorry, number 24, Javon Carter with the run. Ball to the 32-yard line. Out of the shotgun, split back formation, snap back to pass, steps up. Now it's going to throw it, and it's over the intended receiver, out of bounds. Brings up second down for Avon. Snap, and we got a whistle. False start called on the Orioles. So that'll move them back five yards.
I formation and a whistle again and another flag. I think it'll be another procedure penalty on the Orioles. It is going to be on Avon. So they'll move the Orioles back again. Out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. Throws. Got to make caught. Hit and dropped. Great open field tackle by the Bulldogs. But still a nice gain by Avon as they get back near the initial line of scrimmage. And a timeout going to be called by Avon with 4 minutes, 49 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Orioles trail it by 13. Hey, McNamara Florist is Indy's hometown florist since 1954 with eight convenient locations, including the new Avon store on Rockville Road. McNamara Florist is famous for our floral designs for all occasions that help our clients express their emotions through flowers. Visit McNamara Florist for outstanding personal service and to select from the renowned home decor merchandise, including stunning Christmas classics. McNamara Floors is located at 9655 East Highway 36 in Avon and can be reached at 579-7900. Snap, back to pass, steps up, old heave down the sidelines, caught, and he's going to walk in for the touchdown. Great pass, great catch, great play. And they go the distance, 69 yards. That is number 12, Luke Shayotovich for the score. Kick is up. The kick is good. So Avon cuts the lead to six at 20 to 14 with four minutes and 38 seconds left to play in the third quarter. Hey, Red Cobra Wrestling, let's talk about them for a minute. Avon has a rich wrestling tradition. Red Cobra Wrestling is proud to now be a part of that. Opening last November, Red Cobra Wrestling offers training sessions run by nationally known coach Chad Red. Red Cobra Wrestling is located at 9233 East Highway 36 in Avon, across the street from Walmart and behind sidelines in the Red Brick Building. Red Cobra Wrestling offers sessions for all ages, including third grade and under and fourth grade and up. Learn more about prices, class schedules, and information at Red Cobra Wrestling Academy.com. So Avon right back in it. 
after both teams really struggling to score in the first half, they have stepped it up with uh, 20 points scored here in the third quarter already, and we are just over halfway through. There's the kick. It's a high end over end kick taken at the 25 to the 30, up across the 35, and near the 40 is the return. That was number 10, Derek Hall. So the Bulldogs with the six-point lead. Snap, give, and nice tackle. As number 24, Sturgill with the run. Snap, give, bouncing off a few tacklers. He's into the open field, and he's off to the races. Sturgill to the 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. And Brownsburg responds again. It is a scoring brigade here from Brownsburg High School in the third quarter for both teams as the Bulldogs now extend the lead once again. Snap spot, kick is up, and the kick is no good. Missed wide to the left. So the scoring frenzy continues from Brownsburg High School as with uh, 3.32 left to play in the third, the Bulldogs lead the Orioles now 26-14. Both teams really getting into the scoring action. Line drive kick. And the Orioles will return it up to the 24. That was Jabon Carter with the return. Pitch, 
reversing course, and he's got room to run across the 40 to the 43. Two forty four and counting. Avon faces a second down at six. Out of the I formation. Give again. Room to run. Flag comes in from behind. It's gonna be very close to a first down, but I think this one's coming back in the area of a hold. It is a hold against Avon. So two twenty nine to play. So they'll move them back. Pitch. Oh, they're going to do a little halfback pass. Nope. Now they now they'll throw it and it's incomplete on the far side of the field. It was actually intercepted, but that was out of bounds. So it'll bring up third down and 16. Ball to 34 yard line, 33 yard line. And they'll heave it up again over the head of the intended receiver. So a penalty is going to be called pass interference against the Bulldogs. And Avon now will have a first and 10, 207. Left to play in the third quarter. It's been a slow-moving third quarter. There's the pitch, and he tried to cut back with nowhere to go. Good job by the Bulldog defense that time.
Split back formation. Snap back to pass. Throws. Go. Oh, boy, almost picked off. Avon wanted a penalty that time. There's a lean ahead, minute to play. And now whistle. And some confusion on the officials part. As they are appears to be some confusion on the field. And another whistle. So a third quarter that has been uh, lengthy, to put it lightly. And a five-yard penalty. So the Bulldogs are facing a first down and 13 now. Ball on the 50-yard line. 42 seconds to play here in the third quarter. Little reverse play there. Some creativity from the Bulldogs. A pitch that will be stopped at midfield. No gain. And again, it'll be now a second and long for midfield. And it looks like that'll be our final play, likely, of the third quarter. And it will be, so the teams will switch sides, but not really since the ball's at midfield. Reynolds Body Shop is a proud sponsor of Avon Football Broadcast. They're conveniently located at 4325 West Washington Street in Indianapolis. Just four stoplight seats of 465. Their phone number is 317-243-2372, and they're open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Reynolds has been family-owned and operated for 30 years, specializing in collision repair. Reynolds Body Shop is also an insurance work specialist. Learn more about them on the web at ReynoldsBodyShop.com. So first down of 10 for the Bulldogs. Snap, back to pass, a little screen play, and it's caught. Nice catch in the open field, and this could be a big play for the Bulldogs. It is inside the 30, and still going out of bounds at the 15. That was a nice catch and run. By Sturgill.
So first down and 10 for Brownsburg. 8.47 left to play in the ball game. And a nice tackle by Avon there in the backfield that time. As will be a loss of about four yards on the play. Brownsburg with the ball, second and 14. Eight minutes, five seconds to play, whistle. And offsides on Avon, so that's five yards given back to the Bulldogs. And there's a throw deep. It's tipped up and incomplete. Rolling right, throwing up, and it is picked off by Avon on the far side of the field and with room to run up to the 15. Nice job there on the interception and return for the Orioles. So Avon with some new life. Brownsburg had an opportunity there to perhaps put the game away, but Avon able to hang around. And we will see if Avon can capitalize. Misner out of the shotgun. And with the ball up to near the 20-yard line. I'm sorry, 25-yard line. They'll put it at the 24. Clock continues to run. Seven minutes and change. Give. And another short gain. But it is enough to move the chains. So first and 10 for Avon. Six forty and counting. Snap. Another give. Avon keeping the ball on the ground here. And a short gain on first down for the Orioles. Yeah. 
Six minutes and counting in the left play in the ball game, fourth quarter. Ball at the 28 yard line. Brownsburg, snap, leads Avon. Going to throw it up, and it's caught. And that'll be a first down at midfield for the Orioles. Oh, no, now they'll wave it off, incomplete. Thought they had initially signaled a uh, completed pass, but they did elect to wave it off. And we'll Throws it up and incomplete. Throw, caught, oh boy, he got drilled, and they're going to throw a flag on that. That was a huge hit by the Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs faithful, not happy about that. They'll move the ball all the way up to the 43-yard line. They'll move the chains accordingly. So Brownsburg upset with that call. 5.30 to play. So a bit of a delay here as the officials try to figure out what's been going on. I think it looks like they finally have. Snap, play action, rolls out, throws down the field. It's up and it is incomplete. And there's a flag and it's going to be pass interference on the Bulldogs. Brownsburg's trying to say that was an uncatchable ball. But the officials disagreed. Throwing down the sideline, Ooh, in and out of the hands of the Avon receiver.
Snap, pass, got out. Oh, it was in and out of the hands. They had the Avon receiver wide open that time. He'd had room to run if he could have held on to it. Fortunately for Avon, he could not. Again, I want to thank our sponsors for tonight's broadcast, Red Cobra Wrestling. Also want to thank McNamara Flores and our friends at Reynolds Body Shop. Out of the shotgun. Snap. Back to pass. Steps up, throws. Oh, boy, caught and dropped. That would have would have had a first down and more. And that will bring up fourth down with 5.07 left to play in the ballgame. Snap, back to pass, throws, incomplete, and the Bulldogs will take over on down. So Brownsburg's defense holds up. 5.04 to play in the ball game. And Brownsburg's probably about two first downs away from wrapping this thing up. Shotgun snap, there's the give. Short gain on first down. Actually, no gain on first down. And the clock moves inside of five minutes. The umbrellas have started again, popped back out. So I assume that means that the rain has begun as well. It has. Time that nicely, just as we're getting ready to perhaps pack our bags and head for head for the car. Bulldogs letting the clock wind down here wisely. Snap. There's the give. And it's up across the 45 for the Bulldogs. Nice run that time. Clock will move inside of four minutes. Bulldogs continue to let the clock wind down as we're 340 and counting. That's a big third down for Brownsburg. Snap. There's the give. And it's going to be close to a first down. And this is an interesting point in the field. As we'll see, he's going to be about a yard short. I don't think they're going to punt with uh, the slippery ball and everything else. The Bulldogs should be able to wind this thing inside of three minutes, regardless of what happens. But if you're Avon, the good news is you'll get good field position if you can hold them. And if you can't, then that may be just about all she wrote. And 
And now Brownsburg will spend a timeout. As they let the play clock wind all the way down to one second before spending a timeout. And now let's see if they do elect to punt. They do not appear to have the punt team ready to go. 2.51 to play in the ball game. Now the Bulldogs will punt. The kick is away. It'll hit at the 30. It'll bounce inside the 25. And so nice job there by the Bulldogs. They ran some clock, 2.43 to play in the game. Flag comes in late. Out of the shotgun, snap, rolling, rolling, throws it away out of bounds. First down to 12, now second down to 12. Pitch, room to run up across the 30, upended. The 26. Clock is moving, a minute 56 and counting. Second down and uh, five yards to go. Third down, I'm sorry, and five yards to go. Throw, pass, caught, evade. Oh, boy, great open field tackle that time by the Bulldogs. Just an outstanding job getting that tackle in the open field.
One minute to go. Avon on a fourth down now. Rolling, looking, throwing on the run. It is caught, but it's going to be short. And that's pretty much going to do it for tonight's game. As with 51.8 seconds to go, Brownsburg is going to take over on downs. It's been an exciting ball game, a long ball game. But uh, looks like the Bulldogs are going to hang on for this one. So the to recap the trifecta series here, the Bulldogs take the varsity on Friday. Avon takes the JV on Saturday. And then Brownsburg ends up taking the freshman game here on Friday, on uh, Monday night. So all games hard fought. Bulldogs in the victory formation. And the way the freshman rules work with the clock starting. Uh, Bulldogs can make this the final play of the ball game as they can just wrap this clock down. And with one knee, that'll be the end of the uh, ball game tonight. There's the knee. And that will do it. The Bulldogs take it over Avon 26 to 14. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight here on audiosportsonline.com. Uh, certainly appreciate that. And again, I want to thank our sponsors, Red Cobra Wrestling, McNamara, McNamara Flores, and Reynolds Body Shop. So thanks again. Final score, 26-14, Brownsburg over Avon. I'm Rob Kendall saying have a safe and wonderful evening, everybody.